Hi guys, it's Jimmy McIntyre here, and this is an introduction to the Easy Panel, a tool you can download for Photoshop from my website completely free. Let me give you an idea of what it can do. After you've installed the Easy Panel, you just go to Window, Extensions, and you'll see the Easy Panel there. And this is what the Easy Panel looks like. The first few options are all dedicated to luminosity masks, which I use predominantly for exposure blending. For example, in this image we have uh, a nicely exposed foreground, but an overexposed sky. And we have a darker exposure which has a very nice sky. Now, if we wanted to blend in some of this exposure into the brighter exposure, you can see that without luminosity masks, we start to get this black edging along the foreground, which doesn't look very good. But instead, if we open up the Easy Panel and we create luminosity masks, let's say we create just bright luminosity masks, we will be able to get a selection of the sky from one of these masks. And we're going to use brights too, just because it has a nice bright selection of the sky and not much of the foreground included. If you're completely new to luminosity masks, this is probably going to confuse you. So I suggest you look through my YouTube channel or shutterevolve.com for free tutorials on exactly what luminosity masks are and how powerful they can be in your workflow. Now, once we have selected the, the sky, we just go straight to the black mask. We make sure the paintbrush is set to white at 100% and we just paint this in. I'm going to press Ctrl and H to get rid of the marching ants. And you can see now we've painted in that beautiful sky without affecting the foreground too much. Before and after. It's a huge difference. And that gives you an idea of some of the luminosity mask functions in the Easy Panel. Now, if we select these layers and we hold down Control, Alt, Shift and E, or Command, Option, Shift and E on a Mac, we'll merge these two layers non-destructively. And we can go to our Easy Panel and sharpen it for the web. And that will resize the image non-destructively, so you still have the original image. And it will resize it to 960px wide. That's because that's the size I use when I, when I work with my blog. Now, usually the sharpening effect's very strong, so this is the sharpening layer. You can change it to suit your needs. If you just reduce the opacity of the sharpening layer to around 50% or whatever suits you, it'll still sharpen the image very nicely and bring out some extra textures. Now, the next function we'll look at in the Easy Panel is how to create a very dreamy effect in your photos, kind of like a Lord of the Rings effect. And we do that by just choosing Create Autumn Effect. And it's very strong at first, and all you need to do is reduce the opacity ever so slightly until you have that desired effect. And you can see it softens the image very nicely and creates a very soft fantasy-like feel in your images. Next, we can do something slightly similar, again creating a very surreal, very different kind of look with our foliage. If you have this a green scene like this, you can just go to the Easy Panel and click on Autumn Colors. And with a click of a button, you now have a very different scene with a very different feel. And like all of my actions, they are non-destructive, so you can always reduce the opacity for different effects, yellow or brown. And finally, I'm just going to look at the Dodge and Burn tool. We just go to the bottom of the panel, click on Dodge and Burn layer, and we select the, the Burn or the Dodge tool, Make sure we've selected the area we wish to affect and we can just start to dodge and burn that area. And again, the reason why we do this and we don't apply it to the image is because it's non-destructive. You see, we can make changes without affecting the original image. And those are just a few ways you can use the functions in the Easy Panel. If, however, you wish to develop your post-processing skills even further, you can click on Learn From Jimmy and it'll take you to all the Photoshop tutorials on ShutterEvolve.com that are completely free. So if the Easy Panel looks like something that would make your workflow easier and your images more impacting, then please feel free to come onto my blog through StrangeLenses.com and download the Easy Panel. Thank you very much.